In this exercise tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the steering wheel exercise to work your shoulders. Now, there's a couple of nice benefits to this exercise. You're going to feel the shoulders working as well as your core and lower back because you're going to be extending the weight away from you, meaning your core and lower back is going to have to work hard to make sure you maintain the correct posture when doing this exercise. So hopefully you've got a weight plate in the gym that you're at. What you're going to do is you're going to place your hands around the handles of the weight plate. If you don't have handles on your weight plate, you can still do this with something like a dumbbell if you would prefer by putting your hands on the end of a dumbbell. So the first thing I want you to do before you even bring the weight up is I want you to just bend your knees slightly, take a little bit of pressure off the lower back. I then want you to squeeze your core, so brace your core as hard as you can. The elbows are completely straight as you come up into your front raise. You want to make sure that you've got your wrists in line with your shoulders, still bracing the core as much as you can. Make sure when you get into the exercise, you're not hyperextending the back or you're not hunching forwards. You want to keep that nice upright posture with knees bent. And from that position, you're going to start to rotate the weight side to side, trying to keep the weight Again, wrists in line with shoulders and try and make sure your elbows are not bending too much during the exercise. You can either do this for time or you can do it for repetitions. So again, from a front on view, we're gonna dip the knees, brace the core, make sure we've got the shoulders back, elbows completely straight. You've got the weight, you should be looking directly at the center of the weight when you're doing your repetitions and you would repeat that for your desired amount of sets, seconds, or reps.